All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jeb, and before this video starts, if you're new here, please subscribe. We're closing in on 3 million subscribers. We're getting closer and closer each and every single day. I've been double uploading the past couple days. Any time to subscribe, it's now I'm just, you know, playing random shit, games that people recommend to me. I'm, I have a cooking show. I'm probably one of the greatest chefs you'll ever find on YouTube. And yeah, let's get to the video. Why did I think PC sniping was a good idea? Confirming Ajax. I'm shot on PC too. I gotta buy some 240 hertz monitors because this just oh I can't imagine, man. If I if I could have played Call of Duty anything over 60 FPS on console, I just oh next PlayStation or next Xbox or whatever. I hope you guys can go over 60 FPS. It might take a way longer time than just maybe the next gen, maybe the next next gen. I don't know. The only reason I'm saying that is because some of these really really nice looking games out there are still running at 30 FPS on some of these consoles and shit. So. Oh God, we're gonna get triple. <gasps> the top player on our team what the fuck everything looks so different on pc in comparison why does everything look so much better on pc it's actually stupid so uh yesterday was a pretty eye-opening thing for me i guess so let me explain what i mean by i need surgery so you know when you get a cold or you just get sick in some way shape or form and your sinuses get all you know fucked up and then you can't breathe correctly out of your nose for a good period of time usually you can hear that in people's voices and stuff it'll kind of sound more nasally or it'll sound more i don't know it'll just sound kind of stuffed up. So there's at least one person in your life that you could think of that has uh, kind of a nasally tone, I guess. Now, even though, I mean, I don't really know if my voice is that nasally in that sense, but I've had a deviated septum for a long time. Oh god, it! <laughs> So whether I'm nasally or not, I don't really know. I'm just trying to show an example, basically. Everybody just knows that feeling of having a stuffed up nose. I have felt that uh, in my face, in my head, in my sinuses for, I couldn't tell you how many years. Maybe middle school? Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure at what point this whole thing happened, but basically I somehow got some sort of nose injury. From the last thing that I remember, I ended up getting a cold and the cold never went away. But I'm assuming maybe during that cold, something happened to my nose? I, I have no idea. But basically, I got that cold cold and it felt like it never went away all of that whole stuffed upness right here all of that shit it has been there with me ever since it just hasn't gone away at this point i mean i've gotten used to it. basically the entire time that you guys have known me on youtube uh, my nose has been this way and this has affected me in a whole lot more ways than i thought it did originally i was just kind of like yeah my nose is stuffy whatever but now i'm starting to realize how big of a hindrance it actually is so first of all just obviously try to imagine having a stuffy nose all the time but then think about like all the little other shit that I usually took my nose for granted. This whole thing not only does it just annoy the ever-living shit out of me, right? Your voice could become annoying for people to listen to and shit. Going to sleep kind of becomes like a strange thing. So for me personally, I fall asleep like whenever the fuck I want. If I fall asleep somehow with my mouth closed, I've been told this from Alexis that I literally sound like I'm dying in my sleep. And the way that it was explained to me was basically I just sound like I can't breathe or I'm either choking on my tongue or some shit. And I've had had sleep apnea studies and I've had uh, some other things done as well to like check on if everything is actually okay with my head and everything came back normal I'm not like narcoleptic I'm not nothing like that oh, oh. I am so sorry enemy UAV above slams up when one of you really Give me the play of the game, though. If you actually paid attention to the Resident Evil videos that I've been double uploading the past couple days, if you haven't been watching it, go and check that out. Gotta plug it really quick. People are enjoying it so much that they're asking me to double upload that or just triple upload. I'm not doing all that shit. Basically, a couple hours every single day after the normal video goes up, a couple hours later will be a Resident Evil video. All the way until the game is done. I'm not sure how many parts is gonna be. Probably less than six, maybe seven, something like that. Kind of depends. I've been trying to go at my own pace and then edit out anything that was like too long and drawn out of me trying to... My stupid ass just trying to figure things out on that game basically yeah if you played that game and listen to the zombies on there that's what i sound like in my sleep i'm basically just fucking 
It's pretty bad. Uh, apparently, it's not like a really loud snore or anything like that. It's more so that it just sounds like I'm struggling. I was like, oh God, I'm not like a snorer, am I? And she was like, no, it's more so that you just, I'm kind of worried about you. It sounds so bad to the point to where there have been multiple occasions where she has to like literally try to wake me up a little bit or like touch my face for me to start moving and like roll over or something. Because it sounds like I can't fucking breathe. It sounds like I'm just not breathing. deal with that though do you dude honestly this is gonna this sniper rifle is gonna feel so good as soon as i put high cal 2 on it I don't know what's up with my shot on PC recently, but it's been looking yeah, way better than it did before. I'll say that. You don't have to burn me, man. I'm already fucking electrocuted. <laughs> As you can imagine, not being able to breathe while you're sleeping uh, sucks, and it affects your sleep and the quality of your sleep and everything. I can fall asleep fast. I can sleep for a very, very long time, but the quality of my sleep is it, it's strange. I end up in a very, very deep sleep. I'm difficult to wake up. The sleep that I'm getting. Uh, it doesn't fuel me. Like, when I wake up, I still feel exhausted and shit. That can obviously have to do with a bunch of different things, but I know that this is the cause of why it just feels like shit every single time I wake up. So basically, I have a stuffy nose. So if I go like this, you can already kind of hear that, but this... Yeah, sorry if that's kind of gross, but just to like give you an idea of how stuffed up it is And then sometimes it's a little bit better. Sometimes it's a little worse There are times where I can't breathe out of my nose at all There are other times where I can kind of breathe out of both of my nostrils But then they're both equally stuffed up a tiny bit And then there are other times where it will actually switch sides uh, I, I guess from what I know anyway this deviated septum is causing this whole area to swell inside of my nose Because of that I have all these issues with my sleep and I just feel like shit. I've told people that before but now this time i'm going to try to actually try to get it because before i really wasn't settled in or really had an idea of how or why i wanted to do it but after a few nights of doing some things to help my sinuses and then other things to try to open my airway put one of those uh strips over the top of your nose to be able to open your nostrils more that's been helping me a little bit and the way that i know that is because my sleep has been a little bit better every time i wear it so i also don't sound like a fucking zombie when i'm wearing it as well i need to have the surgery done to basically straighten it out so you know my nose doesn't keep getting irritated by itself rubbing on itself basically every single time i breathe in you know how your nostrils end up coming closer to your septum every single time i breathe in like that there are times where it's just like i'm doing that at all times it's just kind of stuck because it's just all swollen i feel like it's a whole new world every single time i can actually breathe in this also just affects my physical abilities too because obviously not being able to breathe through your nose imagine trying to if you played a sport or just running imagine trying to run only breathing out of your mouth or try to do any physical activity just breathing out of your mouth it's not very efficient it's just not if you are breathing out of your mouth you usually can at least get some air through your nose as well. I feel like I'm just not getting enough oxygen and maybe my brain is just fucking suffocating when I'm sleeping. I just want to try to be able to do like a whole... After looking into the whole thing and seeing what the surgery is supposed to be like and everything, basically, it's just they end up straightening the inside of my nose out, packing some shit up there. There's a few different ways that it's done, but it packing some shit up there. Then eventually, I have to go and get it removed. Right, during that whole time that it's packed, my nose is just going to be completely swollen, and my nose is going to be huge. Like, my nose will grow, like, near two times its size. Not literally, but it'll get really, really big. Your nose is super sensitive, obviously. You don't want to hit it. Your eyes can water much easier if you're hitting the face and things like that. I'm afraid that my nose is gonna grow two times the size. Everybody's gonna be making fun of me. And I'm also kind of scared that it's gonna actually change the structure of my face. Like, I'll look like a different person afterwards, like some plastic surgery shit. I'm just trying to breathe. I don't want people to think I got a nose job. I'm trying to breathe. That's all. I like to think that most people have the right to breathe. Everything seems so much faster paced on PC. Everybody also plays way more aggressive. People play super passive in multiplayer on console. I mean, there are people that do, but... The general player really does not play like how they do on PC at all. Oh so yeah, I've just been 
you know, really worried about, you know, pulling the trigger on the whole thing, but I it seriously has to get done. It's exhausting, man. It seriously is. Just trying to remember the days of what it was like to actually be able to get a nice, fresh breath of air through my nose, nothing in the way, it is just such an alluring thought in my head that the next time I go onto an adult website, I might actually search clear nostrils. That might not be a good idea at all, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a whole genre for that. Yeah, so I need to get this surgery. I'm just, honestly, I'm fucking scared. I'm really scared of it. I think I have to get put under for this whole thing because I think they have to like do some crazy shit with my nose. I don't think I could just sit there and they're just gonna sit there and do it for me. I'm gonna be out cold and they're gonna, you know, do some shit with inside of my face. It's just, it's terrifying to me. Like in my face, not in my mouth, in my fucking face. I'm gonna end up waking up and I'm gonna have Sylvester Stallone's nose instead and I'm just gonna be talking to people with this accent and shit. I'm just scared, man. I, I don't know. Give me the power to make this call, please. Please. I, I just need to have this done. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later.